All right, here we go. This is our first shot of the day. We got a, we got a like a golf ball, smaller than golf ball size piece of paper on that little dirt bank. We had 17 steps. So uh, let's take our first shot and see how we do. Daisy, over here. Thank you, ma'am. And I'll tell you, the making the perfect shot for me is making sure I hit anchor. I'm really focusing on my spot. If I hit anchor and I'm pushing forward, the air's going to go where I'm looking. But see, my, I'm tight. I hadn't shot. It, it's kind of what it'll be like in real life that I got up this morning and went deer hunting, you know. I pushed a piece of paper in the ground. There's the piece of paper I was shooting at, and I pretty much pushed it in the ground there. Let's fix it up for later. Get Miss May standing there, laying there. But anyway, that was a success. The shot wasn't perfect as far as the mechanics of the shot. I could feel myself, uh, I kind of felt myself being tied in the shoulders, and I didn't, didn't push through my shot good. But probably 90% of my shot for me was perfect, and there I went where I was looking. That's what we got to do. All right, that was, a, that was a good shot. I feel really good about it. First shot of the day went exactly where I was looking. And the, the reason I'll, I'll show you guys some things that I do wrong, and there's a lot of good shooters out there, and this is probably a waste of time for you. But first of all, on the first shot of the day, you tend to not focus on your spot. You tend to be stiff, and uh, I, I tend to do all that, and I tend to short draw. And uh, my buddy Jason had the same problem. He was, we were talking, and he did a video on it. But in the past, I would draw the bow, and when my, when my, any part of my hand touched my face, the arrow would shoot. And uh, I actually would hit what I was looking at. And there again, you probably see I'm shooting split finger. I really enjoy shooting split finger more than three under. Uh, I believe that three under and shooting with with a gap shooting and, and you know all the nose to the feather and all this sort of thing that's the most accurate way to shoot and it's also and that's one reason I do videos on gap shooting and shooting three under and all that is because I believe a beginner can learn to shoot accurate quicker that way. It takes some time. I've shot split finger and then pretty much instinctive for my whole life and then I begin to, to shoot split finger and shoot a, a, what's called split vision. I, I knew where my arrow was at, but at these ranges, I just bear down on my spot and in peripheral vision, I see my arrow. So that's not what we're talking about in this video. We're talking about shooting a perfect shot. I just, you may have saw I was shooting split finger and that's the way I enjoy shooting the bow the most. And that's the way I'm shooting. I went to shooting three under as a crutch because I could shoot more accurate with target panic at close ranges even if I shot in front of my face that I was on and uh, it allowed me to hunt because I got to go hunting it allowed me to hunt and take animals cleanly and it was a crutch for me I, I didn't fix my shooting with it but now I have just really Jason's uh, video helped me a whole lot drawing below the target and anchoring and then coming up on it and I, I hit anchor and got on my spot because if I shot, when I touched my face, you know, I'm going to shoot down there around his feet. So it, it gave me the mental discipline to, or a challenge to uh, hit anchor now. A year ago, I couldn't begin to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even pointing at a tree. Now it's easy. Practicing the perfect shot did that help me in the you know my first shot of the day. That's when you have doubts. That's when your mind is messing up with you. Practice the perfect shot. Every shot we already shot a first shot, right? We're gonna shoot every one. We're gonna put that much emphasis. If I go out there with three arrows, I shoot one. The other two are just repetition, and they may be good shot. And it's good for stretching out. But there's no focus in it. And they probably go in the spot there. But you know, if you admit it, 
those shots after your first one when you're shooting a group, they're usually just repetition. And I don't think it helps you. What helps you is shooting one area, going to get it, walk around out here, let your muscles relax, and then shoot another. And focus on it being the perfect shot. I get out, I get out here in the yard and just pretend that I'm sneaking up on something. If my neighbors are watching me, they probably think I'm a lunatic. But uh, when I say I'll take like a couple of sneaky steps, get behind a bush, shoot through a crack, and come up, and uh, I, I, like you gotta, I practice drawing slow. There's animals around me, I can't do no fast draw. Practice the perfect shot for every situation. If, you, if you're on your knees, it's different than standing up. And uh, I, I, I've missed several animals where my bottom bow limb hit the ground, shoot long bows. And my bottom bow limb hit the ground, kicking my arrow down real low. So uh, you gotta practice that. You gotta remember, it's gotta be automatic. When you hit the knees, you lean forward and your bow, your bow cants more. And if, if you do a lot of hog hunting down south here, in thick places, you're apt to do a lot of shooting off your knees. And uh, I actually shoot, you can shoot on your knees and set your butt down on both your heels and it's pretty solid. And always remember when you're shooting off your knees to put your front knee down and your back knee up. That way you can pivot on your knee. You can pivot around. If you got it the opposite way, your knee gets in your way and, and it hurts your pivot. Like if the animal's coming to you, no matter which side they go, if you got your front knee down, you can pivot around and get a shot right there. Practice the perfect shot. You walk up to the target. So I got a judo on, so I'll just shoot at something out through there. But uh, this is, for me, this is my perfect shot. I have a routine that I go through. And I would encourage you to get a routine. It helps a lot, a shot routine. So it happens automatic every single time. Then when you're in that situation where your focus is on the game, on the, on the freezer filler right there, you put all your focus on that, this, all the everything behind the bow happens automatic because you've practiced that perfect shot and build it in there and it just happens. Here we go. I got us a, it's a little pine cone right there. We'll shoot it at. All right, so first thing I do, I pick my spot I want to shoot. And I will say this on gripping the bow. A lot of people, they, they'll grip their bow all kind of ways. I just relax my hand. The bow goes where it wants to go and then I close my hand around it. I do that every single time, every bow I got. Relax my hand, I grip my bow, I got a good grip on the string, pick my spot, I point my shoulder at it. That's important for me. If I'm more open stance, I tend to get a lot of left and right because instead of being in alignment like this, I'm like this, and I'm not pushing straight. And all this, this you build this into making the perfect shot. But then when you get in the woods, it just happens without thought. All right, I grip my bow, pick my spot, point my shoulder at it, I come straight up under the target. I don't come from the side. I come straight up, straight back, and hit anchor, and I do not hold. I hit anchor and shoot. And all that, all that while, once, I'm, once, I, once I lock on that spot, my eye never leaves off of it. And all my focus is on that spot. If you start thinking about anchor, you start thinking about this other stuff, the focus on your spot is going to broaden because you, all your mind's not on it. And if you're an aimer like I, in my peripheral, I know where my point is. I don't have to think about it. I just know where it is. But if you're a gap shooter, then you know you, you focus on your gap when you, ever how you do that. It don't need to be on what's behind you. It needs to be on what's in front of the boat. That's on a game animal. When you're practicing to shoot, then you can do all this focus on one part at the time. One day you focus on, on or a few shots, you focus on your bow arm, pushing forward your grip. The next few shots, you focus only on your anchor. I'm at anchor. You may focus at your back tension. I don't do all that proper back tension. And I should, but I don't. It don't work for me. If I get the good anchor, and I guess I do because I try to bring my elbow around. I get the good anchor and I shoot. And sometimes without even thinking, I'll bring my hand back like that. Most of the times not. Most of the time I'll shoot and my hand just stays right there. Enough yapping. Let's shoot this shot and I'll try to make a perfect shot and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll talk my way through it. Pick my spot, I got my bow grip, shoulders pointing at the spot I want to hit. I come up under it and I hit exactly what I was looking at. It's like 10 yards away. Most of my shots, my average shots, are 12 and less, so that's good.
I know it's kind of a crazy video, but I got out here, was going to take my first shot of the day, and uh, said, why not share what I do right here? Because I'm not trying to brag at all, but I very, very, very seldom miss a deer. Very seldom. Number one, I shoot within my range, and or my comfort zone, and no, uh, I never shoot at one that's, that's turned wrong, and I practice to make perfect shots. So focus on each one of your shots. Make perfect shots. That way when you get into the woods, it's, it's built in, it's on automatic. The more focus you can put on front of your target instead of in, on front of your bow instead of what's behind your bow when you're hunting, the more successful you're gonna be shooting at wild game. Thank y'all for watching. Keep the good Lord first. And uh, life is good. What are you doing? Say hello. Say, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Let's go. What'd you do with your deer bone? Hmm? Where's your bone at? Come on. That's a deer antler. Where'd you get that at? Where'd you get that at?